Without a doubt, the most famous video on this channel is the very first Gate Guy video. Since it's released, it has amassed a whopping 2.8 million views. Most of you probably came here because of that video. Here's a quick clip if by some chance you've not seen it. Well, the man responsible for that golden nugget of Dunning-Kruger has started a new Globe Earth debunking channel. And we're going to look at it and you won't believe its name. Kryptonite Physics. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan, Thank you very much for joining me. Right, back to today's video, which as I said earlier, is from a new channel called Kryptonite Physics from the gate guy, Chris UK. He thinks physics is bad for the globe, basically. Let's join him as he tries to discuss the physics of flight on Earth. Today, we are going to look at the Boeing 747. What would happen to it, and you, if we are on a rotation? Well, nothing really. The same thing that would happen to anything else because we are all on a rotation, as you say. On the ground at a London airport. The Boeing has a tangential velocity of 650 miles per hour. Its fully laden weight for takeoff is 447,700 kilograms. The center of its rotation is 2,476 miles. At its current latitude, the centrifugal force on the Boeing will be in this direction. Now, obviously we're talking about a fictitious force here. Centrifugal force is the name we have given for something that's being pushed against that's caused by rotation. Now, if you're being swung around on a roundabout, for example, quite fast, then that feeling that you get, you're gonna slide off as you're grabbing on, is the centrifugal force. With a force value of 967 kilograms. The important thing to note here is not the force in kilograms, but the acceleration in meters per second squared, which in London is around 0.022. A person standing next to the Boeing will also have a force acting on them of 216 grams in this direction. Of course, this is irrelevant because the acceleration due to centrifugal force caused by Earth's rotation is the same on the surface of the Earth for everything, regardless of mass. The Boeing takes off and reaches its maximum speed of 650 miles per hour at an altitude of 6 miles. It remains on the same latitude throughout the journey. Its tangential velocity is now 1,300 miles per hour. Indeed, but let's remember that the actual speed of the plane is relative to the Earth's surface. A plane travels east no matter which way it flies. Sounds counterintuitive, but if you're going west, you're actually going east, but slower than the Earth is going east. The centrifugal force direction and value is now 3,860 kilograms. Once again, this is irrelevant. It's the centrifugal force which we are concerned with. And at this point, six miles up, it is only 0.00026 meters per second squared more than at the surface, so pretty much negligible. On a person, the force value would be nearly one kilogram. Let's change the direction of the Boeing, keeping the velocity, heading, and the altitude. The Boeing and you now have zero centrifugal force acting on them. Now this is interesting that he has admitted this because the tangential velocities cancel each other out here. So technically there's no centrifugal force, but that means that gravitational acceleration is not affected as much. So things weigh very slightly less on a flight traveling west than they do traveling east. It's actually glorious proof that the earth is rotating. 
There is a massive difference for you and the Boeing. When the flight changes, direction. Now, believe it or not, this is actually his proof. This is his kryptonite, but what he has actually done is given us unreal evidence for rotation. Now, taking the London example that he's given us here, we know that the gravitational acceleration around London is about 9.84 meters per second squared. It differs at different latitudes because the Earth is squished slightly, so you're further away from its center the closer you get to the equator. And we also know the centrifugal force we feel at London is around 0.022 meters per second squared. So what really happens happens is that cancels out a little bit of the gravitational force. So again, depending on your latitude, one object, the same object will weigh different at different latitudes. More splendid proof that we rotate. Kryptonite physics, amazing. While we're here, let's have a quick look at his introduction video, shall we? Welcome to Kryptonite Physics. This is an introduction to our main video, the Kryptonite Physics. We are told we are all on a rotation that is moving. That, in turn, is on a rotation moving. Then another. All traveling around the universe. Never causing even a ripple on the water's edge. Oh my days, how many times have we debunked that one, people? We explore this with known physics, no theories. Before looking at the final video, there are four information videos. You will not need a calculator, just a ruler and protractor. The first is an introduction to vector addition, to enable you to understand that if two or more velocities act on one point, that point's velocity will be the sum of them all. Oh bless him, he's doing lectures. Second is a short video covering circular motion, the effects on a mass. The third introduces you to rigid body rotation with translation. It helps you understand the difference for a mass on a rotation alone, compared to on a rotation that is moving. I mean, he's actually put effort into this, hasn't he? What a terrible, terrible waste of time this is. Then relative motion, inertial reference frames, specific to a point on a rotation. How the relative two position changes the math for a mass on a rotation moving, but not the reality for that mass. How inertial reference frames have been used to deceive us all. How inertial reference frames have been used to deceive us all? What is he blabbering on about? And the final video, it will use the knowledge you have gained from the previous four and lead you to one inevitable conclusion. And having listened to all of that, remember that these videos were created by a guy who tried to prove the Earth was flat using two GoPros and a gate. Ah, good times. Well, there we go, a fascinating look at Chris UK's new YouTube channel there, Kryptonite Physics. Now, unfortunately, Kryptonite Physics has a buttload more videos where he misunderstands physics. Ranging from rigid body rotation to inertial reference frames, it truly is woeful. But for now, we're all done and dusted for another Flat Earth Friday. Thank you so much for watching, it truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing to the channel. As I keep saying, we're on the march to half a million. Uh, hopefully we can get there soon. And of course, if you really enjoyed this one, hit that like button too. I've been Simon and Dan. Have yourselves a great weekend and I'll see you Tuesday for the return of Hans Wormhat. See you then. <laughs>